Donald Trump responded to the special counsel's recordings of Donald Trump sharing classified information, more specifically, a plan to attack Iran. Now, in Donald Trump's response, we get to see how really irked he is by the recordings that were released, and we get a little glimpse into what Donald Trump's defense strategy will be. You're not concerned then with your own voice on those on those recordings? My voice was fine. What did I say wrong on those recordings? I didn't even see the recording. All I know is I did nothing wrong. We had a lot of papers, a lot of papers stacked up. In fact, you could hear the rustle of the paper, and nobody said I did anything wrong other than the fake news, which of course is Fox, too. We did absolutely nothing wrong. This is just another hoax. It's called, uh, I would say, election interference more than anything else. It's a disgrace that they can do it. Next question. But everything was fine. We did nothing wrong, and everybody knows it. Here's a sample of that newly released audio from two years ago. I was just saying, because we were talking about it, <laughs> and you know, he said, he wanted to attack Iran, and what? And he he said, you did. Us. Wow. This was done by the military, given to me. Uh, I think we can probably, right? Yet last week with our colleague Brett Baer, the former president insisted that document did not exist. There was no document. That was a massive amount of papers and everything else talking about Iran and other things. And it may have been held up or may not, but that was not a document. I didn't have a document per se. There was nothing to declassify. These were newspaper stories, magazine stories, and articles. Just Quite a lot to unpack there with Donald Trump's response. We did absolutely nothing wrong. Oh, really, Donald? Uh, you were on tape trying to go off the record so that these people wouldn't publish what you were about to share with them, which was, oh, a classified war plan to attack Iran. And then their response was, oh, well, that's a problem. Just another hoax, right? This is another hoax, but it's another hoax with you on record. Ooh, you on tape admitting to having and sharing classified documents that you were subpoenaed for a year to return before they had to raid your estate to get these documents back, which, oh, by the way, they never got this document back. And then he says it's election interference. See, Donald Trump is running for president of the United States so that he can make this claim. He's not really running to, to win the White House. He's running so that he can use this defense. He got walloped in 2020. He's going to get walloped in the Republican primaries even before he reaches Joe Biden. So this is really just his defense strategy here. Oh, it's they're they're trying to go after uh, a candidate for the president of the United States just because I'm leading in the polls. No, Don, it's because you're on tape sharing classified documents with people who shouldn't be seeing these documents. And then his real tell right, with just how upset he is, is next question. You don't really hear Donald Trump say that a lot unless it's something, unless it's a question that makes him look really, really bad. And clearly this tape has gotten under his skin. And then he closes with everything is fine. We did nothing wrong, which is a complete joke. I'm pretty sure his supporters will eat that up, right? Oh, Don says nothing, nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. What, what about Joe Biden's crimes? But in trial, <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna play out a little differently. So that 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 line, everything is fine. Oh, oh, Donald, everything is not fine. And then we get to like Fox News and their coverage, how they just played the most innocent portion of the tape. And this is really interesting, is that they played the portion that said the military gave this to me, right? Donald Trump claiming that the military gave these documents to him, and then he stole them, kept them at his, <laughs> at his Bedminster estate, uh, or with him wherever, maybe wherever he traveled. Um, I think that's going to be part of their defense, that, oh, the military gave him the documents, so, you know, wh what? Like, why, wh why is it illegal for him to have them? You don't get to just take all of the documents given to you by the military with you when you leave office. That is 
essentially exactly the crime <laughs> that that he was indicted for. Uh, and then, of course, they just go to, straight into playing Donald Trump's denial. They don't play the clip of him saying, these are classified. I could have declassified them when I was president, but now I can't. No, no, no. They don't do that. Except it is like highly confidential. Yeah, yeah. Secret. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to try to de-classify figure out. Yeah. See, as president, I could have de-classified yeah. it. Now I can't, you know, but this is yeah, classified. Now we have a problem. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. It's so yeah. cool. Yeah. I mean, it's so, I'm look, we hear I have a, and you probably almost didn't believe me, but now you believe me. No, it's, I believe it's you. It's incredible, right? No. They, hey, bring they some, uh, bring some Cokes in, please. Fox News propaganda network for the GOP. And this, again, this is the GOP trying to protect Donald Trump because he captivates so much of their base, right? He's essentially the leader of their party right now. He's taking it over. So, of course, they have to protect him in some way. And these are the marching orders passed down from on high right? It's, well, we don't have the document. So do we know if it ever existed? And the problem with that is that the people in that room are witnesses and they're going to testify that they saw the classified documents, which Donald Trump was on tape discussing. They were all on tape discussing. See, the problem I have here and the prediction that I'm going to make is that the GOP, because they are so dirty, Donald Trump is so dirty, the way he plays, they're so corrupt, is that right now they are mounting a full pressure campaign on the people in that room. And so right now we have uh, the special counsel who's trying to protect those people and isolate them, isolate those witnesses so that they can't uh, be persuaded to not testify against Donald Trump. And then you have the GOP and whoever who are, who are mounting a full campaign probably right now to pressure these people to not testify. And so what I think is going to happen is that we're going to see even more indictments of obstruction of justice for other people surrounding Donald Trump and in the GOP who are going to be caught trying to manipulate these witnesses. Because that's the crux of the special counsel's uh, legal strategy here, is to get those people to testify that they saw that document because... Donald Trump has probably either hidden that document or destroyed it. And so those witnesses are a, a key to uh, the special counsel's legal strategy. Um, I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say about his response. Um, pretty pathetic. Pretty pathetic. Uh, doesn't really do much to uh, make me think that he has any real legal defense strategy uh, when it comes to his trial. 